you voted for us. To have to not wear any armor except for a Christmas hat and an Elytra. Welcome back to Legacy Weekly. Our designer and interim writer is the Mima, our recapper is Tika Ivy, and my name, as always, is Super Side Kia. Because of some recent changes inside our team, we've merged week 6 and 7 together to give you another chonky recap. As it stands, we are currently without a scriptwriter, which means Mima and I wrote this episode. This is why we are opening applications for a new scriptwriter to assist us on our team. So if you feel up to the script writing task and think you'll have the time to spare, check out the application form linked in the description. This is a pretty substantial task, so make sure you have time flexibility before you apply. In any case, let's finish our waffles with some syrup and get to recapping the events on the Legacy SMP these past couple weeks. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be finally have it done. Oh! Beginning with Zloy, who finishes his church and promptly finds out that the Holy Bee has been vandalized. Afterwards, he goes on to build more of his statues, finishing in his 14th episode. Moving from statues to crypts, Zloy also starts mapping out his underground tunnels and uses some hidden technology to make another entrance from Skizzleman's library. What's, Im what's important is that I made it pretty far. Yay! As seen in his fifth episode, he meets up with Logic, and together they get some nerdy boys into their cage. After a while of getting some books ready to trade, he also finds a villager with an unbreaking free book for only 26 emeralds. And after almost finishing the whole library building, Skiz brings some light for an extra bit of mood. And finally, for the purposes of communal wealth, Skiz and Logic create a gold farm for the server. Hey Skiz, we did it! We built up ah. this monstrosity. <laughs> Look at it. We did. <laughs> we did it, buddy! No. After building a monstrosity of an item sorter for the piglin bartering, Skiz and Logic have to get piglins in place to make them start bartering. And, well, that goes... interestingly. Get out of here. Right, okay. Cletus is coming over, hopefully. Oh no, he's not! They got, he got killed! Moving on from the gold, Logic starts working on his base and decides to go with a size not yet done by him. Meanwhile, all the legates are working. Avo seems to be having a very good time with Chicken in particular and finds some other interesting stuff flying around. I literally don't know what to say to that. It's a flying squid. That's, um, that's disturbed me. After the finding of weird stuff, he starts getting more and more advancements and decides to go XP grinding in style. And that should be a working door. So, open should still work. As the Juicy Fruit himself, Sliced Lime, opens the doors to his backup if you die in a funny way and don't want to lose all your stuff place, we start talking about it. But before he even starts building, someone loads some old chunks and he is reunited with his best parrot friend. Okay, so W is forward and then I use the mouse to move around, okay? And then, okay, sideways. Alright, I, I think I'm getting the hang of this. With a good break behind him, Vigo is back and ready to blast some concrete out of the sky. With a good time lapse of him making the blaster and converter, he starts testing. And after completely finishing everything, he has a large breakthrough. Well, that just happened. And that was it for these weeks on the Legacy SMP. Our designer and interim writer is the Mima. Our recapper is Teak Ivy, and my name is Super Side Kian. And remember, if you are interested in script writing for us, have a look at the application form in the description below.